All right, intercultural communication class. This is the McDonough family. They live down the street from me. And we're going to ask a couple questions about their Irish heritage. So thank you for letting me interview you. Just had a couple of questions. Um, maybe we could just start off about how you came from Ireland to America. I came to my aunt in Dorchester. Dorchester? Yeah, and I had uncles and aunts in South Boston. So about how old were you? I was 16. So that's kind of young to make yeah. a huge cultural change like that. What was that like for you? Uh, it was hard at the beginning. If I had the money the first year, I would have gone back. But oh yeah, I was here, here and decided this was a better country. Was there any kind of um, like language barrier? Was it hard to? No, because I I spoke Gaelic. That's the Irish language at home. But I, we learned English at school. Okay. So I could speak English. And my aunts and uncles. Me too. Yeah. Speak yeah. <laughs> my We're aunts still and uncles. <laughs> and speak English. So do you do you, can you still speak the Gaelic or? Yeah, we do. Do you speak it in the household here? Uh, just the two of us. The the, the kids don't understand it. No. I, when they were younger, they did. But you know, when they started playing with the other kids and going to school, that was the end of it. They lost They all can say hello. How are you? Michael says it all the time when he comes in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so what inspired um, the journey to come to America? What was uh, what was that like? Unemployment in, in Ireland at that time. That was 1954. There was no no jobs in Ireland. And why was that? Uh, I guess uh, it was a very poor country at the time. Okay. Uh, it, it, the boom came afterwards, probably ten years later. When the so what was it like to um, look for a job here in America? It wasn't too bad because uh, most Irish uh, girls came here and they, they did domestic work. Mm -hmm. They worked with families and babysat and stuff. Um, and the men did uh, construction. Construction. Yeah. <laughs> so you said Dorchester is where the family came to? Yeah. Um, still today, that's still a big Irish yes. community. So Dorchester do you feel? Still around South Boston. Yes, yes. that was a, a lot of Irish there. Yeah. Yes, they still are. Um, Mr. McDonough, would you like to tell us about? Um, oh yeah. Your journey. <laughs> <laughs> I came 1953 too. I'm 1954. 1954. Before, I came uh, three days before Christmas. Oh okay. And. Uh, my first Christmas year, because it Christmas Day and Christmas night over in Ireland, it was like a wedding. But right, I came with, I was staying with my uncle, and the Christmas Eve, they went to 12 o'clock mass, and I went with them, and I thought there'd be something after mass, and after mass, and you know when we went after mass to bed at 12 o'clock. To bed? Yeah. <laughs> One o'clock, yeah. It was a two o'clock then. And I wasn't too happy about that. And I was the truth. <laughs> so, um, about how old were you when you I came here? I was 23. 23? Yeah. And um, what part of Boston or Massachusetts? Dorchester. From? Dorchester? Yeah. Okay. So, definitely selfie is where it was happening. Yeah. And was there any reason that you came over? Was there a family reason? Well, I, I heard. People was telling me if you go to the United States, you might pick up a couple of dollars on the sidewalk, but I never, I never picked a penny up on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not in Boston. So the roads weren't paved with gold, <laughs> as you heard, were they? <laughs> but I went to work. Uh, the first job I got, because uh, it was 1954, I think. 1953. Uh, Oh, 55? Yeah. Because you came at Christmas. Yes. <laughs> that, that'd be good for all of you, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, I, I could get no work outside that construction. I had to go to work at the county hospital. Okay. Clean and uh, do a job that I didn't like, but it was better than hanging around. So could you talk about any of your jobs, like what exactly you did and where it was? I worked on construction. Put okay. gas pipe in for a long time. Gas pipe from the street into the houses and gas made. And uh, 
I was a foreman for that company for a long, long time. Being an Irish man coming over to, um, you know, Boston, the Dorchester area, did you find that there was any discrimination? It was hard for you to find a job or anything at that time? No. Uh, no. Not in the 50s. No. Not in the 50s? No. Okay. So, um, maybe just to change the subject, um, just because the battery is going to die soon, but just wanted to ask you about your religious beliefs and maybe how that came over here. Was it Catholic? Yeah, Catholic. Okay. And um, how did you practice religion before you came to America? It was about the same as here, where we came from. We, we weren't in the north of Ireland, so we didn't have no problem. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Because um, just the class doesn't really know a lot about um, the North and the South conflict. The North of Ireland was under the British rule. Under the British rule? Yeah, and they, they, they weren't Catholic. They were called Orange. The Orange? Yeah. And, and what's the what's the issue with that? Um, they were Protestant. They have broken away. I guess from the Catholic Church in the beginning, they had broken away. And uh, they didn't like Catholics. And they even until today they're still fighting the yeah. Ireland, the, the Catholic and the Protestant. 